What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I am Anohita and today I thought of following Khloe Kardashian's makeup routine. I will be doing my makeup in the same way Khloe did in her Vogue Beauty Secrets routine. I'm really excited for this video because I really like Khloe Kardashian's style, the way she dresses up, her jewelries, her makeup and I am a fan of the Keeping Up With The Kardashians so whenever I'm watching the episodes, I like her makeup the most first i thought of that i will be doing kim's or kylie's makeup routine but then i thought that both of them are into makeup but chloe is someone who is not related to cosmetics but why not try with chloe's because when she's my favorite i like her makeup and style more than that of kylie's or kim's so let's not waste much time and get into the video hey, Shadi. First she goes with toner and for that I will be using the Dabur Gulabari Rose Water as my toner. Basically applies her toner on the T-zone areas especially where one tends to sweat. Skincare. I know Courtney uses it. So I put this on my face, my hands, my neck. So next she uses a sunscreen and I will be using the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer sunscreen. It has SPF 50 plus, it's water resistant and So sunscreen is done and let's see what's next. The Drunk Elephant, love. I take my moisturizer and I also like to put a little bit of foundation with it, I'm trying to create my own BB cream. I love this stick, it's a Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. Okay, so she uses a moisturizer and mix it with her foundation in order to create a BB cream. So this is my moisturizer from Urban Botanics. It has neem and basil. It's a mattifying moisturizer for oily and acne prone skin. Give a bit shake and we'll take some on my palm. For foundation, I will be using the NY Bay stick foundation. It's in the shade. Rocking in Honey 11. Well, so she mixes it, mix the product with using a brush. I don't have a Kabuki brush, so I'm using my BH Cosmetics brush in the in number three. So foundation is done, and let's see what she does next. After I use my Kabuki brush, I go in with a damp. Sponge. So next she uses her beauty sponge to settle down the whole thing. So I will be using my beauty sponge and will settle down everything. So now I really like this method of mixing the moisturizer with the foundation and it's pretty good. It's pretty lightweight and simple. Let's see what's next. I love KKW's concealer. I am red always around my nose. I don't know why. I hate it. So I always go to my nose and I like to go. I have like these weird shadowy areas, so I like to try to erase them. Who doesn't? So she didn't put any concealer on her forehead, which is a bit weird for me because I do always put concealer on my forehead. So let's see. I'll be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. It's in the shade Medium Tawny. And we'll apply it on those areas where she applied her concealer under my eye. So next she uses her beauty sponge to, to blend it all out and let's do it. So concealing is done and we're going pretty good but I'm still feeling a bit awkward because she didn't apply anything on her forehead but so let's move So on. I love Kylie Cosmetics loose powders, the soft pink and the translucent. I'm going to mix the two together to put this on the sharpest point. I don't know why girls always make Now I just have translucent powder and I like to, now this is where the brush comes in, like under my eyes. So next what she does is she takes 
two kind of setting powder that is um, a translucent powder and a tinted setting powder and she makes both of them so I will be using my Maybelline fit me powder it's in the shade 25 medium and for translucent powder I will be using the Swiss Beauty prime and set primer mattifying setting powder and we'll mix both of these So she takes the powder in the sharpest point and applies it under her eyes. So we have set the under eye. She takes only translucent powder and she uses a brush to apply it over her face. A fluffy brush and we'll she applied it to her neck. Keeps her under eyes like big like this and she moves on to contouring. Oh, contour. Actually, use this one and mix it a little with this dark one. So she is using a cream contour from MAC and right now I don't have any kind of cream contours like that. But, but I do have a contour stick and it's from Revolution. It's actually a foundation stick but I have it in the shade F16 which is a contouring shade and let's see how she applies it for my jawline so we didn't really know about contour my angled brush to apply this done and next see how she's applying it on her face and she would go here here this is your cheekbone and here it's a three and you do it on each side of your so she does this three thing to make her contour so let's try i think i'll apply some on my hand take some oh i am and we will create a three the way she did Contouring is done and let's see what she does next color Now you want to go from your eyebrows like that's where The start like the bridge of your nose is going to start So just follow that line your face basically it's like a painting with numbers if you follow all the lines So find Kim loves to play this game where she guesses who did my makeup so next she does her nose contour and I will be using this fluffy brush to do my nose contour Nose contour is done pretty well, pretty good. I am impressed. So next she moves on to eyeshadow. Let's see what she does. This eyeshadow color called True's Mom. And I'm gonna match where my nose contour was and where you see that arch. I'm gonna put this all in my crease. So she basically goes with a light brown shade and she takes it from her nose contour and applies on her crease. I will be using the Kylie the Kai shadow palette it's the bronze palette and I will be using the shade tiger eye she takes her nose contour and up to her crease I'm gonna just line more of like a cat eye smudgy it's not perfect I'm gonna take what color is this Trusseldorf I'm gonna take that's true's nickname my eye like this I'm just gonna go halfway and I like things with a red undertone because it really makes my eye color pop. I am going to create a liner effect on her eyes. I will be using the shade Hematite as my liner. Basically holds her eye like this. She uses uh, some yellow color and a sheen shade on her inner corners of the eyes. So I don't have any yellow color on the Kylie bronze palette. So I will be going with my 
Nika K Autumn Spice Palette and I will be using this yellow shade. Then I'll be going on with this shimmer shade in the Nika K Palette and she uses her ring finger to apply it. So she does her under eye next and she uses the same brick brown shade and to do her under eye let's see what's next but let me tell you it makes such a difference Lancome Hypnose doll. so that's with mascara so she does her eyelashes next Gob USA eyelash curler and will curl my lashes So she moves on with the mascara and I am using the Faces Canada Magnetize Mascara. So eyelashes are done and now, now I'm going to sweep away all my loose powder that's been baking. And now she uses a brush to remove all the excess powder from her under eyes. Brows. Honestly, pink packaging just makes me so happy. So I always start from the middle of my eyebrow down. I've never had a thin brow 90s moment, but I think that's because I learned from my sister's mistake. So next, she's doing her brows, and she basically focuses on the middle part of her brows. So I'm going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil, and it's in the shade dark coffee. So brows are done and let's see what she does next. I love an eyebrow gel. Again, I don't know why I do. Just so she uses a brow gel and we don't have a brow gel for now. So I will be using my mascara as my brow gel. I will be going with the same mascara. And will use it as my brow gel. So eyebrows are set and let's see what's next. I get to my bronzer. So this is a Tom Ford bronzing powder in gold dust. And I'm gonna put this just on my forehead to bronze me up, but to give me a little highlight too so it looks So next she goes for bronzer and for that I'll be using my sugar face palette and I will be using this bronzer. is done and I think she'll do her blush next. My mom is supposed to say yes, that. Yes, it's her She's blush time. So I go to the ball and I go up. So for blush, I will be using my Wet n Wild blush in the shade Mellow Wine. Let's do a second coat of top mascara. She applies a second coat of mascara and this time she also applies it under her eyes too. So let's do it. what we are left with there is my jam I'm gonna use KKW today in peach too then I'm gonna take my cocoa collab and I'm just gonna take so a she uses a peachy light pink lip liner and for that I will be using my Colourpop lip liner it's in the shade Obvi So lip liner is on and she uses a light pink shade and for that I will be using my Colourpop Ultra Matte Lipstick and it's in the shade Take a Pixie. So she basically uses her finger to apply her lipstick. So we'll do the same.
so lipstick is also done and now let's see what's left I'm gonna do some highlighter always blow the brush I'm not sure if that's a technique or out of habit so next she goes with highlighter and for that I will be again going with my sugar palette and I have a highlighter here so I'll take a fluffy brush as she did and will apply my highlighter wherever she did that is here here just a clear gloss again I'm gonna just dab it in the middle oh my god Kayla is not gonna know she do. applies a clear gloss and she uses her hand to blend the gloss which is a bit awkward for me because I never use my fingers whenever I'm applying gloss but uh, I don't know if <sighs> who uses their hand to apply a gloss So this is the final makeup look. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you like watching this kind of videos. I will make even more videos like this. So this is the final makeup look and I am quite impressed with the makeup look. I really like this. So we are in lockdown right now so I can't go out. But definitely whenever I get a chance to go out I will be trying this makeup look again. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Please share this video with your friends and family. We will see you soon in my next video. So stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home. Bye. Subscribe to this channel.